efficacy of polarized, polychromatic, non-coherent light in the treatment of chronic, musculoskeletal neck and shoulder pain. St. Petersburg Clinical Hospital, Russian Academy of Sciences, St. Petersburg, Russia. Center for Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation, Clinical Center Belgrade, Serbia. Department of Clinical Pharmacology William Harvey Research Institute, Queen Mary School of Medicine and Dentistry, London, UK. Polarized light from low-power lasers and non-laser devices has been used as a non-invasive therapy in the treatment of various musculoskeletal disorders, acceleration of wound healing, and treatment of skin ulcers. Study Population 120 adults, aged 18 to 65 years, were recruited into the study. The main inclusion criteria were musculoskeletal pain, more than 30 days duration, in the neck, left or right lateral or posterior surface, and or in the shoulder region. Degree of pain rating, pre-procedure, of at least 50 on the 100 mm visual analog scale. Participants were not permitted to use any analgesic medication in the period lasting 48 hours before treatment 1 through to 48 hours after treatment 3. Study design and patient evaluation. Multicenter randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled study to compare efficacy and safety of active light therapy versus fake light therapy over a three-day period. Participants were randomized, one-to-one, -to, -one, to receive either active treatment with the optical device, test group, or fake treatment with an inactive version of the device, placebo group. Primary efficacy outcome was assessed via self-reported degree of pain via 100 mm visual analog scale. Secondary outcome was assessed via linear range of motion in neck slash shoulder regions, and via subject satisfaction of perceived change in pain level, five-point scale following final treatment. Details of the efficacy assessment schedule are displayed in Table 2. Treatment Protocol The light therapy protocol was as follows. Upper back and neck muscles, posterior and lateral, were exposed prior to light therapy. The optical device was held at right angles to the skin surface at a distance of 10 cm from the treatment area. The treatment area was then painted with light for 10 minutes. Treatment was given at intervals of 24 hours over three successive days. An inactive version of the optical device was used to provide fake light therapy, where required. Physical parameters of the light output from the optical device were Wavelength 480 to 3400 nanometers Light spot size 19 centimeters Average power density 40 milliwatts slash cm Active light therapy provided a dose energy density of 2.4 J slash cm per minute Patient disposition and baseline demographics 119 participants completed the study 60 people in the test group received active light therapy with the optical device 59 people in the placebo group received fake light therapy There were no statistically significant differences in demographic or baseline characteristics among the two treatment groups at study entry The primary efficacy success criterion was defined as equal or more than 30% improvement in visual analog scale degree of pain rating from the period immediately prior to treatment 1 to immediately post-treatment 3. This criterion was met in 82% of test subjects, versus only 12% of the placebo group, P less than 0.001. Furthermore, the mean change in visual analog scale from baseline found the test group recorded an almost fourfold greater reduction in their level of pain than the placebo group. Conclusions Participants who received active light therapy with a Bioptron optical device showed statistically significant improvements in efficacy parameters, reduced level of pain, increased movement, increased satisfaction with level of pain and greater levels of physical activity. The data presented here support the positive effects of polarized, polychromatic, non-coherent light therapy in treating patients with chronic musculoskeletal pain in the neck shoulder.